One is a plastic uh, grill, the other is powder coated aluminium. Now, we prefer the latter because um, the powder coated aluminium, I guess the point is that you, the last thing you want to see over time is the uh, return air vent becoming yellow and stained uh, because of the, the dust, uh, the amount of dust that goes through into, re, uh, into re, to return air uh, is very surprising. But um, the powder coated aluminium tends to become a lot more resistant to, uh, to the staining of the dust and uh, they tend to stay whiter for a, a lot longer. Um, so we use that. We also look at the same principle for the supply vents. You've probably seen people's homes walking in and seeing a nice crisp white ceiling uh, contrasted with a, a yellow supply vent and often it's because the supply vents are made of plastic and unfortunately, as good as they are, they serve the purpose well, they, they do tend to stain over time. So, going to a, a powder coated aluminium uh, supply vent will do the same thing, it will stay nice and, uh, and white. When it comes to the return air filter, I mentioned before there are two options. One is your standard washable filter, and uh, it's just a standard uh, sort of medium. And this is the type where you would take it outside and use the hose to wash it off and, and clean all the dust off. Um, try not to use a vacuum cleaner, just a word of advice, because the vacuum cleaner tends to lift the pile of the, of the media and, and, and cause uh, tears holes in it. Um, so the, that is one type of, of filter. The other type available is a disposable type filter. This particular one uh, is a duct air um, uh, uh, natural air filter, or DNA filter they call it. This is one that we tend to use more often now than perhaps the, uh, the, the, the standard filter media. Uh, and look, the reason before, for that is that this one is one that you obviously don't have to, to clean. Um, but in terms of um, creating a health, uh, healthier living environment, these certainly uh, are, are proving themselves. Um, they tend to reduce the amount of um, virus, carrying bugs, bacteria, pet hair, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it does create a much cleaner and uh, cleaner living environment. The last thing we want to talk about today is air balancing. Air balancing is um, a part of a system that is not that common. Um, I'm not sure why it's not common because it's one of those things that will create a more efficient system and ultimately one that makes it a lot more comfortable for you as the consumer. We all know what it's like when you walk into someone's home and you find that there's too much air in one space and perhaps not enough air in another room. And this is due to the lack of air balancing. But what, that, what does that mean? Well, when, where the um, actual air conditioning unit or fan core is up inside the, the roof, um, the air likes to find the path of least resistance. In other words, those outlets that are closest to where the indoor unit is tend to get the majority of air because there's less distance for the air to travel to. Where the air has to travel further, in other words, there's more resistance in the duct, there's longer duct runs, there's bends and what have you, um, you tend to get less air the further the air has to travel. So in order to overcome that, what we do is we, we, we install what are called manual balancing blades, or air balancing blades, which are not too dissimilar to this here. This is similar, this is obviously your zone motor, but the manual balancing blades are a manual form of this where upon commissioning the system, our technicians will um, balance those air or perhaps reduce some of the air to where there's too much and open up the damper blades where there's perhaps not enough air. So we put a manual balancing blade in for every outlet installed so that upon the balancing stage, upon completion of that, you should find that the air flow to each room should be very, very much the same. We don't want to see where there's not 
there's not enough air in one space and too much air in, in, in other spaces. So regardless of where you, where you are in the house or regardless of how far the um, outlet is from the actual unit up inside the roof space, um, the air flows should all be very much the same. Now, it's fair to say that it takes a while to settle into a system. In other words, once it's installed, the technician takes you through and how to use it and all those things, it's all a bit overwhelming. And it might be a week, it might be a month, it might be two months down the track where you've thought about it, now that you've settled into the system, you realised that there is too much air in your kitchen, for example, or not enough air in your family room. Um, we believe that it's important to have an air balancing warranty to ensure that you're comfortable. So our air balancing warranty is actually three months from the day of installation. And that way, if you are experiencing um, inadequate air flows or, or excessive air flows, you can call us at Morford Air and we'll come back within that three month period and just tweak it for you and make sure that you're nice and comfortable. So that kind of explains hopefully a bit of what goes on behind the scenes. In other words, up in the roof, stuff that you don't see or generally hear about from people selling air conditioning. Hopefully this gives you a bit more of an insight in terms of what to expect or perhaps the, the questions to ask for. And that is, what type of motors am I getting? Are they continual drive motors or are they start-stop type motors that are going to prolong the life of the motor? We're going to look at the energy uh, efficiency of the system uh, in terms of the ducting, where is this one going to save me 45% in running costs or is it going to be costing me a fortune to run? Asking about the return air vents and uh, the uh, supply vents. And it's all those things that will certainly add up to either a system that's going to be quiet, it's going to be efficient, and going to either improve your comfort, which is why you purchased it in the first place, or it's going to be a hindrance for years to come. And this is why we go through this sort of stuff for the consumer so that you know exactly what you're getting and you're getting value for your dollar. So we wish you well with your project and we hope that we can help you further.